Hi, and welcome back to Pixelpia. Today, we are continuing looking at consistent characters in Midjourney. And we are going to go a little deeper. We are going to do two different things. First, we're going to see how we can use the editor to change and fine tune our character images by creating scenes that with different backgrounds or facial expressions. After that, we're going to take a look at how we can create images with two consistent characters. So with that said, let's move over to my computer. So here we are in my mid journey. And as you can see, I have already created two different characters that we are going to use for this. We are going to start by using the female character here. So I'm adding her as a character reference up here by clicking on that little human here. She is now set as a character reference. What I like to do is to copy the part of the text that just describes her. In this case, a woman in her 30s with shoulder length, white hair and green eyes. And then we're going to place her in a different settings, sitting on a park bench at sunset. We are going to change the aspect ratio here to 16 by 9, so we are, have a little bit more room in the image for doing changes and we're going to keep the character weight at default 100. That means that she will have similar clothing and expression. So let's send that and go to create here and see what the result will be. And that looks very much like her, but we want to use the web editor to change some things here. So we're going to use this image. We're going to increase the size of our brush because we are going to, to do erase and we're going to erase all of the background. And you don't need to be totally precise, but like that. And now we're going to write sitting at a bus stop in a busy city at noon and submit that and you see now her environment has changed so if we want oops, this woman in different settings we can go in and use the editor and I have already done a couple of tests here as you can see here I have her I kept the initial text, the photo of a woman in her 30s with shoulder length, white hair, green eyes. She is standing on an empty street at night in a big city. On the next one, I used the same, but have her standing on a beach. And on the last one, I said, Sitting on a park bench in, at sunset, facing the camera with a smirk on her face as if she had, has a secret to tell. As I said, we have made two characters. So we are going to take one of these. I think we're going to use this one and go to editor and... We are going to change this to a 16 by 9. Make her a little smaller here and place her on this set. We're going to take off her as a reference. And we are going to go back to create and pick up our man here as a character reference. So we set him as a character reference. I copy the description of him and now we go back to editor yes restore it change the aspect ratio make her a little smaller 
and move her over to this side let's copy the image address here it's the easier way to do it and go back to this one we're gonna see ref and paste that URL to the image that we just created and let's go back and copy his description here and put that in there his description walking towards the woman and we're gonna put her face back like that I chose restore and just painted over her face so now we have him as a character reference instead and we have edited the image to make room for him so let's submit that one and as you can see it didn't work he looks like him but it looks like he's walking away from her let's instead go back to our two characters and as you can see i have managed to do several image with the method i didn't think was possible but obviously something has changed so first i'm adding him as a character reference and then i adding her as a character reference here we take the description of her without any clothing and then we take the description of him now we have a woman and a man and their description sitting at a cafe in paris talking and smiling let's see if that is enough information to make this, this happen and now i didn't change the aspects ratio so it will be a square image but it works fine for our purposes and here we go something has changed with midjourney and we can as you see use two character reference images so let's add them again add him add her and add the text but this time we will say walking on a sunny tropical beach holding hands and smiling and this time we're gonna change the character weight so we do dash dash character weight and set it to 50 that will make it possible for Midjourney to change their clothing a little bit but they should still very much have their facial structures and hair and things like that very similar to our original characters but as you can see sometimes we get mistakes and she got his beard hair that wasn't but this is a pretty good image of our two characters did she get a little mustache yes she did so with this i would go in editor and maybe erase that little piece let's go back and let's take a very small oh, that's big and yes right no facial hair and see if that will change this image you see she got facial hair on all of them here it's almost the same face on both i don't know why it does that let's see here oh that looks much better oh she got a little facial hair in there but this looks like our character images let's take a look at them that's him that's her and here they are on the tropical beach 
here is the same couple in Paris. So as you could see, there are still some trouble when it comes to creating more than one consistent characters. But there are ways around and if you have the patient and use the editor, you will eventually get the results you want. Before I leave you today, on my community page, I have a survey because we are getting very close to the end of my basic series about me journey on the web. So now we have to move forward. And I have one question with a couple of alternatives. Would you like me to do more deep dives into me journey web application? Would you like me to move on and maybe look at an AI tool for creative writing. Maybe something we can combine with using consistent characters in mid-journey. Or would you like me to take a look at an AI tool for creating music? Or maybe you have another alternative. So I would be very happy if you took a minute in your busy day and went over to my community tab and answered that quiz. Next week will be my last mid-journey video for this series. I hope you will try this for yourself to create inconsistent characters with two characters and by using the web editor. If you need some repetition about the web editor or about how to create consistent characters. I will have links to both those videos down in the description. With that said, keep on creating. Until next time. Bye.